Welcome back to another posing session video. Today I'm doing one for Darth Vader. I wasn't planning on doing one, but since I'm still waiting for the Mandalorian and Child Deluxe set, I decided I'll just go ahead and do one for Darth Vader. So I'm going to start with showing off the box because this is the 40th anniversary edition, and then we'll get into some poses. So here we go. We have a nice slip cover, and when you take this off, it has a retro style design. Taking a look at the side here, we got a cool picture of Darth Vader. Then when we flip it over to the back, we have all the credits. Flipping to the other side, you can see that you can take off his helmet. And then we have a nice Empire Strikes Back logo on top. So I'm going to lay this down to get the accessories out. Oh, but before that, there's this flap that opens up. It's a weird design choice, but still pretty cool. And getting into this, we're going to take out the tray so that we can see all the accessories. Plus, I want to get to the base because I'm going to build that out. All right. So taking a look at this, we have a bunch of hands. We have some sabers. And we have this base. So I'm going to build this out. It's a pretty cool base, like a little diorama straight out of Empire Strikes Back. And then we're going to get into the poses right after this. Oh yeah, that looks nice. This is a pretty nice base. Straight out of Empire Strikes Back. So let's get into some posing. Alright, so the first pose you already saw in the opening. It's just a standard museum pose for Vader. Straight out of Empire Strikes Back. Him just holding his belt boxes, whatever those are. Very simple. Anyone can do this. Next we have a power pose. I have him looking up slightly with one of his force using hands and then I have the saber out into the side. These are all pretty simple poses because overall this Vader figure is pretty restrictive with movement so you can't go too crazy with his poses. This one takes a lot of work because of the cape. It's simple to pull off with the body. Just stand him straight, put the lightsaber hand on, turn his head over to the side. But then the cape needs to be properly draped and properly folded. That's the challenge with Vader posing, to me at least. If you want to get your own Vader and help out the channel, there's a link in the description below to Sideshow Collectibles. Again, another simple pose, but the cape took a lot of effort and time. Now I'm holding the saber with two hands. It's a bit reminiscent of the battle between Vader and Kenobi in A New Hope. And for this final pose, we have Vader at the ready. He's pulled back his cape, exposed his lightsaber, and he's ready to use the force. So it's a pretty simple pose, a little bend at the knees so you can lean into the stance. Just kind of push him forward a little bit at the chest, like get a little ab crunch, turn his head, get the arms just right. This is a really good museum pose, but also kind of dynamic. The dark side of the Force is calling you.